Hey guys, it's Corrales and welcome back everybody to how to make a small wooden house. Previously, and previously, we made everything we see here on screen. And in today's episode, we're going to continue. Well, kind of, <laughs> that's kind of the point of it. But first this, we're going to figure out the shape, the side shape of the roof. Because when we get that shape right, then we can just connect the roof nicely. And it's going to be super easy because we're just going to follow the, the shape we got going here. So that's gonna be super easy and convenient. So first is first, dark oak slabs. Start here on this corner, place one. Just on the, on the corner. Then two full blocks, one and two, dark oak. Dark oak wood slabs on the top layer here, one and two. And take it up by one and two, like this. So I'm just gonna pause here for a little second so you guys can catch up. Hopefully you're done, perfect, yes. Then, dark oak wood stairs upside down just like that you got me hopefully you do and a full block on top of that of dark oak then if we done this correctly and we place an upside down dark oak stair here and continue this shape upwards it should meet up in the middle so let's just see if it does or not bam and bam so that looks symmetrical to the other side but we still get this like nice little curvature here over the porch so let's do the same on the other side. Dark oak slab, two full blocks, dark oak slabs on the top layer, take them up by one, dark oaks upside down stair here, and a full block on top. And then just continue the shape. So upside down stair, normal stair, upside down stair, normal stair, upside down, no, 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 upside down stair, normal stair, and just continue upwards. So I think we should be reaching it here. And it connects very nicely on both sides and now we can figure out the main roof shape so i'm just gonna pause here for a second so you guys can catch up let me just go here and there perfect okay so now let's continue we might start on the inside a little bit but first what i want to do is just grab let's just grab block of redstone i think that's gonna just work and i'm just gonna mark the middle so i just know where it is so here's the middle on this side Nothing you have to do, but it's kind of convenient because it's kind of easier to see where the middle of the house is and it's just there. And what goes for the inside, like we're going to add a little basement. So I'm going to dig out this hole a little bit. We're going to have a dark oak floor. So it's going to be on that elevation, just as the door, right? In the basement, since I'm playing on a flat world, which is not that deep, we're going to see here from that, this block here, one, two, three. So I got to the floor elevation, that should be one, two, three, four blocks in height. And that might work, to be honest. Because we're gonna replace the, the bedrock here with some dark oak, so that's gonna work. So now, I'm just gonna dig out a little perimeter just around the house, like as we see here. Just along this like the cobblestone. And uh, it's gonna be a hall, but it's gonna be a basement. Ooh, doesn't matter, fill that in. So let's just do that to start off with. Okay, we got a hole. As you can see here, like you can make the basement deeper, wider and whatnot, but I'm just gonna follow the cobblestone around the house. We could even dig underneath the porch because we know there's a little porch here, which we could use as, as a little extra space. But I'm just gonna do all around the interior or the inside of the house, around this perimeter, and I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna fill all the walls around here with cobblestone and make the floor dark oak. So let's do that the grind and we're done that was fun anywho by the way if my voice is stranger than normal it's mainly because i got a sore throat so you have to excuse moi but anywho anyhow now we have the floor is going to be coming here so we have one two three four another floor you could do it higher you could do it like wider deeper and whatnot but um, this is what i'm gonna have at least so anywho before we continue and place the floor over this I'm gonna carve out two windows, one here and one here, before I place the floor, because this is gonna be so much more easier to see. So, we're gonna have a window here, so delete one, two and three layers like that. Do the same on this side, and don't worry, we're gonna fix it. And same on the other side. Then dark oak stairs, upside down in a gap, both sides, bam, bam, bam. Grab some paint, place one and two, one and two, and then from the other side, Hello from the other side. Dark oak stairs. Place like this on both sides here. Um, this, perfect. 
don't worry i'm gonna carve this out in a later stage okay we can even carve it out now just to make a little like a nice little perimeter around it a little indent but it's gonna be really cool because then we're gonna have a, some basement windows there's gonna be some natural light down in the basement as well so let it let it just be now now we've done this we can just cover up the whole floor shablang on that elevation so all the way around the house it's gonna be a very dark and spooky basement. I think I might take off the shaders model soon because it's gonna be really hard for you guys to see what I'm doing. But anyhow, so we're gonna figure out the staircases later on. Now let's just jump up, fill the gap, and we got a basement, nobody knows about it. And we're gonna continue, hmm, let's continue on the roofing. And to start that, we're gonna be using some spruce slabs. We're gonna follow this shape which we got going on the little trim here on the side. So first layer, spruce slabs all the way across. So you can see the next layer here should be two full blocks. I could use slabs, but it's more convenient to place full blocks in this case. All the way across like this. Then, by the way, if you're doing this in a snow biome, instead of the spruce, you could totally use like quartz or even snow, snow caps and stuff, because that's going to look really cool, especially in a snow biome, because it's snow and stuff, it's going to be like a snowy roof. Anyhow, the next layer is going to be a little bit different. We have two slabs here, right? So I'm just going to place one layer, first of all, of full blocks, and it starts raining, so let's turn that off. It's gone. To get downfall, perfect. Then one a layer of slabs. Just follow the outer shape, like that. But this is going to be a little bit different, because we're going to have a window here in the middle. So what I'm going to do here, first is first. In the middle, we know the middle is here, the rest is the middle. Here, place one, two, and three full blocks of logs, spruce wood. Then, if, uh, just in front of that, five in total. So it's got a little shape like this, okay? Extend this upwards by two to begin with, one and two, and in the middle, some spruce, like this. In between here, a window. So from the front, it should be looking something like this. Next, just extend this upwards by one more block. In between here, spruce wood stairs placed just above the panes, like this. And what we're going to do here, we're going to leave that for a moment, but I'm going to do one more detail. And as we have here on the porch roof, really hard to see, but we have those upside down dark oak stairs. So place one here, one here, do the same on this side, one here, and one here. And we will get back to that ASAP. Now, we're going to leave that area, and we're going to move and maybe make the garage roof and uh, the shape of the garage. So shaders off so you guys can see what's going on and I have such a hard time playing without them. I've been used to them for such a long time. Anywho, so on from the inside it looks like this. And before we do the garage, let's do a little shape here. So one more layer of full Sprosauda planks like this and then just follow this shape. Follow that shape all the way in on both sides. So from the front of the house we have one layer, two layers, two layers, but that goes into the window. Okay? And then this spruce wood perimeter or wall extended all the way from side to side for the moment being. So it looks something like this. Now we're going to move to the garage. And this is going to be super, super simple. Okay, we know that the height here, which we placed in the previous episode, is six blocks in total. So on the back is going to be a window. So extend this wall to six in total. Same on this side. In the middle, we're going to have a two-in-width uh, window. And I'm just thinking, like, what did we use around the windows? Is that spruce wood logs? It is. So let's do spruce wood logs like this. Then dark oak upside down stairs. Window, which is two in height. And on top of that, some dark oak stairs again. And then just two full blocks of planks. Bam. Window, no matter uno. Same goes for this side. Extend a pillar upwards and another window. So spruce wood log. This is not nothing which is really required, but it looks really nice. Then a pillar, six in height in total next to that. And the same shape as we had on the back. So upside down stair, window two in height, dark oak stair, and two full blocks. So window numero dos. Also, 
around the whole perimeter up here, we're gonna have the same shape as the porch design over here. So don't you worry about that. It's gonna look much better than it does at this stage. Now, two more pillars like this. Here's the endive the beholder. We could have the door here on this block or here where I'm gonna have it. Mainly because here on the, on the front, there's gonna be a garage door just going just all the way across. Doesn't have to be purdy. Just place it. Can even make it uh, six blocks in height if wanted, like this. Don't worry about it. We're gonna cover that up and make it look nice. But uh, this is what I mean. If we have a door here, we're just gonna hit the door straight as we enter, and the con textures connect in that manner. If we put this, we're gonna have a little bit of depth in until we reach the garage door. So I think that is the way to go. But uh, in the eye of the beholder, once again. So the door, upside down, dark oak stair normal placed one and then just two full blocks and we have a door entrance also on the ground we're going to use some stone bam and fill the whole perimeter inside with stone or material of choice you don't have to use the stone if you don't want to use the stone but i'm going to use the stone because it's very clean and it looks really nice for a garage purpose just like that perfect now here on the front on the third block from the ground level counted delete them like this and place some spruce slabs just on the top layer just so we have a little little like window i guess and also some tripwire hooks has the little open mechanism type of situation going on perfect next part might be a little bit tricky but hopefully we can do it together first is first grab dark oak planks and do two layers across like that on the front door just to cover up the ugliness dark oak slab on this side and one on this so that gives us a little nice curvature in the garage door type of thing now grabbing dark oak stairs place them upside down here here on the corner here on this corner on both sides and one here in between the top layer of the stair here connect them with some dark oak slabs here on the corner here in between here on the corner and here in between just like this and then what we're gonna do we're gonna grab this decorations we had here the brown as uh, hardened clay and the brown wool and we're gonna place just on top here just before that we reach the spruce wood place for example wool clay wool wool the same for this side start with clay wool clay and maybe wool just some random shape okay then using the same technique as we used here, we're gonna make a little garage roofing. So first is first, here on the corner, place a dark oak slab on top of that, bam. Next one, two full blocks, then two slabs on the top layer of that full block, extended upwards by two slabs. Two slabs on the top layer like this, connected into the wall, and extended upwards by two. So from the side, we should be having a little gap and we should be having this shape. Let me just pause here because this might be tricky icky wiki. Hopefully you got that correct because now it's really easy peasy mode. From this, we're just gonna make a dark oak uh, plank roofing just on the top elevation here. So we just cover up the inside of the garage. So now from the inside, we have a little like very simple, you could put some decoration inside of this like roof and like stairs upside down and whatnot, just to make it look pretty. But uh, that's sufficient for my, my tastes. Then let's do the same or safe shape on this side. So slab on top of that, two full blocks, slab on the top layer, extend it upwards by two and take it into the wall. The thing what I said in the previous episode that this is going to be deleted. So delete that and do this shape. So now this looks a little bit different, mainly because it goes up to this little shape here, but it looks something like this from this side. And the space in between here, super simple. Use spruce full planks and uh, slabs, and then just cover up as, as it goes along. Just follow the outside perimeter shape, and go from side to side and cover this up nicely. And if done correctly, you should be having this shape, which goes just and connect with that upside down stair border, which we have here. Looks pretty fancy. I'm loving it. Now let's just continue on the inside, I guess. First is first. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be using some spruce wood stairs and some spruce slabs as well on the inside. First is first, place one upside down stair here just on the like border of the of the window same on this side in between that slab slab on this side and slab on this side then using spruce wood 
logs. Extend this upwards by 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3. Same on this side. 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3. So that frames the window quite nicely. So from below it should be looking like this. And here it looks something like this. And from above, you should be having this little shape if you want to pause the video. So next roof piece, as you see here, should be a full block. So full blocks of spruce just across the board. Same goes for this side. Full blocks like this. And then when we jump from the inside, we're going to do an interior roofing as well, using the spruce wood stairs upside down. So now we can place a perimeter looking like this, just so it connects to that log block on both sides. And bam! Pretty nice? I think so. Now, next step is using stairs, no slabs, just stairs. So four staircases on this side, one, two, three, and four on that side. And since we just did that layer on the outside, we can do one on the inside. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So just go over the pit pillar here. Now, spruce wood log here and one here. And one more layer. One, two, three, and four. Same on this side. One, two, three, and four. So from the inside, we have a little nice roofing going on. It's very complex, but hopefully I'm not making this too hard for you guys. Yep, I am making this super hard. I just rewatched the footage and holy crap, if you have managed to get to this point, congratulations, you win a cookie. Next is dark oak full planks. No slabs. I was just about to say slabs, but it's full planks. One, two, and three. This is just above the window. Then come some dark oak slabs. One in this corner and one in this corner. Then take it in here into the wall. So make it one, two slab on the top layer. And in the end, a full block, which goes down into the roof. And same from this side, if you didn't catch the other side. Slab, slab, and full block here. Then, as you can see here, we can just place some spruce stairs and it connects very nicely into the roof or into the window thing part. So, spruce stairs, spruce stairs, and spruce stairs. So you can see here now from the side, really hard to see, maybe from this side, like this. Hands down, this has to be the hardest part of the build yet. Everything else is pretty easy peasy and straightforward, but this, those slab roofs, oh my, oh my. Anywho, on this corner, place a dark oak slab. Same on this corner, bam, next to that, Full block of dark oaks, bam and bam, back to the slabs on the top layer connecting to that full block, slab from that side and a slab from this side. Then across this, slab, slab and slab. So from the side or from the front it looks like this. And to finalize that shape, another slab. So that is the main shape of that roof. And from this point on, it's gonna be Fairly easy, trust me. So now we're just gonna follow the shape. We know the roof is gonna be coming here, right? So let's take it out by one, two, three, and four stairs in total on both sides. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna connect it up so it just lines up with that little border here. So one, two, three, and four spruce wood slabs on both sides, like this. Also, bear in mind that this elevation, top elevation slab here, is going to be one slab lower than this one. Let me show you. So, slabs in between here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There we go. It rains a lot on this world. So just get some uh, spruce wood slabs just across the whole thing. The same for this one. So, and bam, as you can see here, just one slab. And that gives us a little cool detail feature. It's not as like leveled as that one is just a little little bit lower and that looks really cool next this as you can see here the next staircase is going to be coming here and over here and over here now we just need to figure out how will this line up now it's just a matter of stitching this together so let's just do the same from this side so we're just on the same page here and bam right so now it's going to be full blocks of uh, uh, spruce uh, planks across there and it connects nicely. Same on this side. So full blocks just across the board and next elevation, some slabs. And bam. So that means this roof connects very, very, very nicely. Just like this. It's really hard to see. 
it's like there are so many staircases and elevations and turns and twists and bends and whatnot but hopefully you can see it like this and if we jump into the inside of it it looks something like this so we're gonna take out this little roof shape on the inside exactly as we did here below so grab your wood uh, spruce stairs upside down and turn them and go all the way in here so just one block above the logs we just placed the same on this side upside down stairs turn it on the corner and connect it to the wall and we have reached the middle so don't touch this yet and also here in the middle we need to kind of figure out because that looks really bad so just take some spruce slabs and place a perimeter like that and that gives us a little nice indent tons of definition and tons of cool details inside and before we do this side of the roof and actually i think we could remove them now they are not really that needed anymore and just look horrible on the house bam perfect done before we do this side of the roof we're just going to do some simple room dividers on the inside not really needed you can just keep it as it is and just do whatever you want but just to give you some tips and tricks here in the middle we know that this is the middle of the house place a wall one two three four and five blocks going out so it's just here in the doorway we're gonna have a little hallway here and it's gonna line up perfectly fine with the doorway and then just turn it jump away is gonna be a doorway so place a block here take this out wall in three in total out like this and turn it so what this is gonna be there's gonna be a little bedroom type of thing and a little wardrobe nothing spectacular it's a very small house right then another wall here going one two three four and five blocks in total so now the main dividers inside looks like this on the downstairs and what goes for the walls i'm just going to use spruce next elevation is going to be bedrock because this looks really awesome this resource pack and above that we could use light gray or gray doesn't really matter you just choose whatever you prefer i'm just going to be using uh, the gray hardened clay and take it up by four in total so we have one two three four five and six in height in total on the inside and then just do the same on every single wall we see here bam bada beam just like that it's gonna be a very tight squeeze on the inside but it's a small house nevertheless anywho before we move into anything else we're gonna make because it's gonna be a little loft here so first is first dark oak planks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve just across that the layer here of the of the logs okay flooring spruce wood planks one two and three in total and do the same across to the other side just like this and then here in the far end take it out over that wall for the moment being let's just do one two three and four layers now also since this is going to be a little loft we're gonna have a little staircase going up and we're going to be using spruce wood stairs so i'm going to start here in this corner place one here just one block away from the window place that direction spruce wood slab little landing and turn it by one two uh, no, 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 no. three four five and six so that makes that six and then we have a turn little landing and one so that's seven staircases in total going up to the little loft thing we got going also acacia wood place one and two on this side just upwards like that one and two in that little gap in between them sideways like this on top of that spruce slab here and one here and to connect them in between we're just gonna use some iron bars bam 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 and bam also we need a little nice railing don't worry about that we're gonna fix that that is easily fixed by just placing one more clay block and you don't really see it anymore we also need a little railing and for that we're gonna be using acacia logs first we're gonna do here in the curvature of the staircase we're gonna place a pillar of two in height one and two next to that one two and three next to that one two three and four and now you might be curious next one five no one <laughs> on top of that spruce spruce load slabs spruce with slabs on those as well just to hide away the ugliness here as well and bam now we're going to be doing something different and it might be a little bit tricky 
here, we have one slab here on the bottom part of that log. On the top of that, we're gonna place a slab as well. And the ones which continue upwards are just gonna be two in height when it comes to the logs. So one and two and a slab. See, then we're gonna start on the top part here, one, delete and replace. Slab on the top part and slab on the bottom part. So it should be looking like this. We have two, three, four, two, two, and one below. It's really hard. I can't really move further back, but hopefully you guys can see how this is going. And let's do this one more time here. So full block, delete, full block, slab on the bottom part and slab on the top part. Next one is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna place this exactly as we did before, like this. We're gonna have the slabs, but they're gonna be going all the way here to the wall end. And then we're gonna do this shape instead. So, full blocks like this, sideways like this, slab, slab, and railing in the middle. It's really hard to see because it's such a tight squeeze here. From this side, it looks like this. So now we have the railing, we have the little like pillars, and we have a beautiful staircase going downstairs. Can you guys see this even? Hopefully you can. But when this is now in place, we can finally start the back part. There's gonna be another window here, which kind of sucks a little bit, but please bear with me. I'm gonna try to explain this as easy as possible. So first is first, spruce wood stairs, just here across the wall or the roof part, like this then spruce wood stairs all above those wool and clay blocks on both sides like it that and the window is going to be in the middle so let's just put a reference point here that is exactly lined up with the other side and this should be the middle piece full blocks of dark oak wood planks one here one here which should leave us a gap in between here by three blocks take them up by three in total one and two and three like that, you can delete that now. Spruce wood stairs upside down like this. Sorry, yeah, upside down like this. Glass panes in the middle in between them. On top of that, spruce wood stair place like this. And the shape on this roof or this window thing is gonna be exactly as the front. So if you are like having any bit like doubts and stuff, just check the front. But first is first, above this, three full blocks of dark oak dark oak wood stairs one and two same on this side one and two slab here and slab here then slab above slab above full block and full block top layer here slab and slab one two three slabs across and one in the middle so that leaves us this little shape and if we done this correctly the top part here should be one slab below the main roof knock here, which it is. See, it's just elevated at the same elevation as that other one. So we've done this correctly. Although, let's just continue this. Spruce wood stairs here, connected just into the uh, wall here. Same on this side, so one, two, and three. Then from the inside, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna have like an in inside roof as well. So we need to have those logs on this side, just to, because if if I do this now, look at this. If I place those here, there's gonna give us a little gap here and it's gonna be a gap to the inside. So we need to kind of fix that. So one, two, and three on both sides, jump in. Place upside down staircases like this on both sides. One, two, three, and four, like that. And on top of that, a log, which is gonna be let me just grab it, spruce wood, here and here, and continue, upside down stairs, like this, both sides, so there should be one, two, three, and four, on top of this, one and two logs, one and two logs, and then just continue, stitching this together, because now, this should be fairly easy. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this off camera, but if you have any like doubts how to do this, we did this on the front. We put a slab here, just so that this like roof trim continues in, delete that, and put a full block of dark oak. Because from the inside, this is not gonna be visible whatsoever, because this is gonna be coming here and continuing. So that's gonna kind of cover up the ugly, ugly little like dark oak on the inside. So don't you guys worry about that. And then just continue upwards from this angle 
from that angle, from this angle, and from that angle. Now, it's almost done. And it's done! Well, not really. Almost, almost, the roof is done at least. Uh, I'm the slowest builder ever, but hey, it's a lot of detail in this little place. Anywho, I did place that android here, because what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little thing. Here's our room, right? So we're just gonna do a little dividing wall. So let's do one, two, three of hardened clay. And this part is gonna be dark oak stairs. Just place like that. Same on this side. Just to make it a little nicer and whatnot. Here's gonna be a little wardrobe. So let's do like is this from the inside we yeah might just cover that up a little bit like that so we have a bedroom with a little walking closet not really a walking closet a wardrobe across the hall is going to be a little bathroom then we need to figure out a little staircase going down one cool little thing we could do as well is like you can see here that slab here let's take this slab all the way across here until that wall because now it looks really awesome it looks like this bottom part is just a continuation in shape throughout the whole little small hallway we get going spruce aguda stairs let's just think about it how can we do this the easiest way if we start a staircase here that would be let me see here one let's just place a few of them so we have a little support thingy two staircases three staircases Four, landing, here, and another staircase. That would not look too shabby, I would say. And if we make the same like color theme as we get upstairs, which means spruce wood planks on the bottom part, like this. Next would be the bedrock, like that. And then the two layers of clay, which means we have a little cozy bed because the basement wall going on along here and also just to like make this ugliness nicer could we have upside down stairs going all the way down as well yes we can sorry what is this by the way this is the the floor block it's not really interfering with anything so we can have one more and then we reach the basement this is not bad so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be using this color combination let's just wrap this around the whole perimeter just to make this a little dividing wall. Bam, 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 bam. And now you might be, oh my god, Corrales, that looks really ugly. Don't worry. Bookshelves. Bookshelves always solves everything. Let's just make a big bookshelf here. And then we have a really nice little basement. Well, it's... Oh, by the way, one thing which we could do as well. Let me see, if I delete this. There's the garage. We could have another garage entrance here. Let me just place this here with some panes, glass panes, glass panes, white stained. It's gonna be a little lamp here just so we get some lighting down to the basement. Perfect. And what goes with the staircase? We have one, two, three, four, five. And then we reach upstairs. Holy crap, this is not too shabby. Not too shabby, I would say. I'm just debating. Should we have a third episode or should I do the rest of camera? Because we're running out of time, big time. Shaders on. And I'm sorry, I did it off camera. I really felt bad thinking of having three episodes on such a small and simple house. But there's a lot of complex details when it comes to roofing, which took so much time on camera to do. But hopefully you get the house correct. Exterior, that is in the eye of the beholder. But let me just show you what I did. By the way, I'm going to provide a download link for this house if you want to check it out yourself. So, right? Anywho. Chimney, three blocks of cobblestone, anvil, and a cobblestone slab. Placed just like that, just like there. And it looks just amazing. A lot of just, just. And the path here in the front of the house, I'm going to pause here if you want to copy it block by block. But it's cobblestone, it's smooth stone, gravel, and stone bricks. Placed in random patterns. There's no logic behind it. Just place it and make it look all right, I guess. Uh, the planters just coarse dirt inside of that and what goes for this side wall over here by the way is just spruce wood logs a little spruce slab on top and it looks really nice and in between here on the sides it's just spruce wood planks so we start the wall just on this pillar here just next to the porch so pillar four block gap pillar gate and pillar again so from above it should be looking like this. 
from the back it should be looking like this and inside of there there's just podzol mixed with random bushes and bits and pieces no logic whatsoever just place it and make it look nice and from this side it looks something like this So there's logs and planks, logs and planks, logs and planks. I like this. What a more, what a fantastic house. Also, we do have a few of those recycling bins here on the side and a little gate if you want to close that off or not. On the inside, once again, not much done to it. There's going to be a kitchen. I'm not going to furnish it. Uh, I'm going to provide a link as well to the inspiration series video where you're going to see how the inside looks. And you can also jump on the server and tour about that yourself. So I'm going to remove this block. It's just randomly placed. Uh, just some lighting just for this, this showcase purpose because using shaders inside here was just super dark and scary and eerie. But we do have a little window. This little loft is pretty amazing. And then we do have that little basement going down here as well. So let's just jump down here. There's a lot of space. Possibilities is to expand this or even make a little a thing here into the garage itself. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that we had to do this off camera, but a third episode would just be like, oh my God, Kiraz, you're such a, such a, such a, such a derp and noob and stuff. So here it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing day. Smash the like button, grab the world safe download and check out the inspiration video if you want to have some inspiration for the inside decoration of this house. Much love. Keralis, over and out. Bye-bye.